Hello everyone, I am Miss Carbin from the Pflugerville Public Library. Welcome to Storytime. Everyone, uh, we will have some fun. I want to remind you this is a program for kids up to age five. And let's get started by singing and signing the more we get together. You guys are ready? This is an original song by Rafi. And I hope that sometime you check out some of his CDs. We have his music at the library, okay? Are we ready? More, together, happy, friends. Let's try one more time. More, together, happy, friends. Are you guys ready? Awesome, so here we go. The more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good. Are you guys singing and signing with me? I hope you are, okay? Here we go again. Let's do it. Ready? Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Thank you everyone for participating with me. I just want to remind parents that this is a video. Hopefully you can stop it and sing the song if they really like, the kids really like it. You can stop the video and do it again, okay? So, and hopefully by some time, you will not need the video to sing the song. Your Flugerville Public Library is doing online summer reading program for eight weeks. We kicked off last week. You have plenty of time to get a hold of a challenge sheet. And if you haven't started yet, you can catch up. Grownups, please go to our website, library.flugervilletx.gov to find out more information. All right, everyone, are we ready for a story? Today, I'll be telling you the story of the three little pigs, la historia de los tres cerditos. Can we count them together? One, two, Three, tres cerditos, okay? These three brothers were ready to leave their houses, to go find their own fortune. So they said goodbye, goodbye to everyone, and they took off. Before the day was done, they decided that they needed a place to stay. So each one of them decided to build a house. The first piggy, he found some straw and he was done really fast. The second piggy found some sticks and he was done quite fast too. So the two brothers just said, we're done and they decided to play the rest of the day. Now their third brother he was working really, really hard to make a house out of brick. A very strong house, and it even had a chimney. The next day, someone was around. It was a big, bad wolf. And he said, Oh, I smell fresh piggy in that little house over there. He said, I am gonna go try to get him. So, he knocked on the door and he said, hello, can I come in? Little piggy, little piggy, will you let me in? Little piggy said, no, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. <gasps> but the 
Wolf did not like hearing that. He did not like hearing that. So he said, then I'll huff and I'll puff until I blow your house down. And he did. You guys want to help him? Ready? And he actually blew the house down and the little piggy ran to his brother's house. The wolf just kept going. And he came to the house of the little, the second piggy. And he said, oh, I smell two piggies in that house. I am going to go get them. Little piggies, little piggies, will you let me in? And the little piggies answered, No, 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 not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. So he said, I'll huff and I'll puff until I take your house down. So he did. And it worked out. He actually blew the house down, but the two little piggies ran to the third little piggy's house and he just kept going until he actually came to the third little piggy's house. Uh-oh. Sorry. And he said, the wolf said, I smell three little pigs inside that house. So he knocked on the door and he said, little piggies, little piggies, let me in. But the little piggies replied, no, 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 not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Then the wolf said, I'll huff and puff until I blow your house down. So he did. He started blowing, huffing and puffing. Well, nothing happened. He tried again. And one more time. going and going and huffing and puffing until he got really tired and he said, oh no, I need to go home and rest. He couldn't blow that house down. So the three little piggies went outside. They were so excited and so happy that the wolf was gone that they actually built a fire Oops, to have marshmallows for dinner that day. And that is the end. I can see you guys getting all wiggly. But guess what? We're going to sing a song so you can get rid of those wiggles. Okay? Let's clap together. Very, very slowly. Okay? Ready? Clap, clap, clap your hands. As so slow as slow can be. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Do it now with me. Very good. Not, not that hard, huh? Now we're going to do it very, very fast. Can you guys do that? Clap, clap, clap your hands as fast as fast can be. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Do it now with me. Shake. Can you shake them? Shake them. Ready? Shake, shake, shake your hands. As slow as slow can be. Shake, shake, shake your hands. Do it now with me. Easy. Now fast. Shake, shake, shake your hands as fast as fast can be. Shake, shake, shake your hands. Do it now with me. Very good. Then there is a last part that we're going to do. And for this, we need to roll our hands. Roll, roll, roll your hands slowly as can be. Roll, roll, roll your hands. Do it now with me. Can you go faster than that? Roll, roll, roll your hands as fast as fast can be. Roll, roll, roll your hands. Do it now with me. Very good. Awesome. Trivia time. 
Okay, I'm going to make a couple of statements. If you think that what I am saying is true, you put your thumb up. If you think that it is not, you put your thumb down. You ready? Okay. Pigs have perfect eyesight. Did you have your thumb down? I hope so. Pigs have poor eyesight, but they have perfect sense of smell. Second statement. Ready? Pigs are smart animals. Yes, I hope you had your thumbs up. Pigs are among the smartest animals of all domesticated animals and are even smarter than dogs, according to some. Okay, yes, parents, you're going to have to go over the word domesticated with your kids, but it's a fact. To wrap up today's story time, i like to talk about two books. The first one is The Barnyard Dance. Stomp your feet, clap your hands. Everybody ready for The Barnyard Dance. Sandra Boynton is an amazing author, and she has a lot of titles. So this one is one of the ones I like the most. Also, Elephant and Piggy books. I am so sad that Mo Williams is not writing them anymore. This is probably my favorite collection for younger kids. You can role play and have a lot of fun. Try them out if you haven't. Finally, all I have to say is happy summer to everyone. Make the best out of this summer. And goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day.